Welcome back, my fellow car lovers. Today, we're diving into the world of PO455. This code is considered a low to medium severity, and in most cases, it's safe to continue driving your vehicle. However, it can still cause a lot of headaches if left unchecked. But fear not, because in this video, we're gonna break it down and show you how to fix it like a pro. Let's roll. Alright, let's get to the nitty gritty of PO455. This code is related to the Evaporative Emission Control System, which is responsible for capturing and storing fuel vapors that would otherwise be released into the atmosphere. When your car's onboard computer detects a fuel vapor leak or lack of purge flow in this system, it triggers the PO455 code. So, you've got the PO455 code, but what are the symptoms that you might experience? Well, the truth is, there may not be any noticeable symptoms at all, other than the check engine light illuminating on your dashboard. However, if the leak in the EVAP system is large enough, you may notice a fuel smell in the filler area or tank area. Let's talk about what can cause this pesky trouble code. The most common cause of PO455 is a loose or improperly affixed gas cap. If the cap isn't tightened properly, it can cause a leak in the system and trigger the code. Another cause could be a non-conforming gas cap, which doesn't meet the manufacturer's specifications and can cause the same issue. Finally, any other leaks or damaged pieces in the EVAP system can also cause the code to appear. Now, let's get down to business and talk about how to fix this code like a pro. First things first, check your gas cap and make sure it's tightened properly. If the code returns after clearing it, you may need to replace the gas cap with a new, properly fitting one. If that doesn't solve the issue, it's time to get your hands dirty and inspect the EVAP system for any leaks or damaged pieces. After you've fixed any issues in the EVAP system, it's time to clear the codes using an OBD2 scanner and take your vehicle for a spin. Drive it for a day and see if the codes come back. If they don't, then pat yourself on the back, you've fixed the PO455 code like a pro. But if you're not feeling confident or don't have the right tools, don't hesitate to take your vehicle to a qualified mechanic for proper diagnosis and repair. We're all in this together, my friends. If you want to learn more about other codes and how to fix them, head over to our website, obdcodex.com, and check out our lookup tool. Stay tuned for more tips and tricks from us car enthusiasts, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Keep on wrenching, my friends.